Okay, today's video we're going to show you how to remove the door panel, driver side door panel on a 2011 Ford E250. Okay, so first you want to start with removing the switch panel. The switch panel is secured with these little tabs there. One in the front, one in the back. It was on this way, like this. Pop that up and the switch will be still inside of there. I already did that for you, as you can tell, obviously. And that's how this is secured, like that. The window switches popped in with those little retainers. Little tabs, locking tabs. Pop those out, pull this out, unplug this. That is the lock switch. You unplug the lock switch by pressing that button there. You can actually leave that plugged in or you can unplug it. Just press this button right there to unplug it. Get that out of your way. And then you have this screw here. This cover was holding that in. You stick a little screwdriver in in the front of it. Oops. Stick your screwdriver in the front of that cover, pop it back, take it off. Then you take this screw out here, it's Phillips head screw, remove that one. And I think that's it as far as the screws go. Oh, looks like there may be another screw here. Let's see what we got under there. Yep. There's another screw there, so you pop that cover off as you saw me just do with the screwdriver. Okay, after you've taken this screw out here, this cover removes from the front. You stick your screwdriver in there, like that, pry it back, stick it there, pry it back, then you pull it forward and out like that. It's retained with those clips, same clips that's on your um the window switch and the box switch, same type of switch, same type of clips, holding that in. Take that out, put it out of the way, and then you move on to the next step. Okay, so you have to remove this cover too. Take your screwdriver, stick it in the corner, don't mess up the paint, pull it back, pop that off like that. Comes off real easy. Well, not real easy, but easy enough. Pull that back. That's held on with the same type of clips. Sometimes the clips will get stuck in the hole. So what you want to do is grab some needle nose pliers and get that out of there. You don't want it to fall in. You do not want to lose that inside the door panel. Well, I mean, you're taking the door panel off anyway, so you'll be able to get to it if it does fall, but let's grab that with some needle noses, pull it out of there, and put it back onto the cover right there onto that post. Okay, so once you've got that removed, there's another screw right here. You gotta take that screw out as well. And there's probably gonna be a connector under that. Most likely there will be. Okay, so after you've taken this out, that one, and this cover off here, and that cover off there, obviously, you have to take this screw out, so that's gotta come out. So let's take that out. And the panel should slide up, yep. This panel, you don't pull it. Let's see if I can show you. What you do is you slide it upward, like that, and then it will, it should, and it will. There we go, and then it comes out. All right, so as you can see, this is the back of the panel, and this is how it attaches. Let's take this key off, that's annoying. Okay, that's better. All right, so you take these. This is how it attaches to the door, these hooks. You see how they're hooked downward? So all you do is just push the panel up and pull it out. Most door panels, you will pry it outward, but this one, you go up. And it's held in by all of those little hooks. 